time to finish our monochromatic self-portrait. And I used the blue paper. You can see I got all my crayon on there. I did it nice and dark and heavy. And now I'm ready to paint. So the supplies I'll need today are a paint shirt. But I'm wearing my apron, so I'm not going to put that on. You will need it, though. Um, you're going to need a plate, or I might have little small cups or something over there. But get a supply to put the paint on and a paintbrush. When you have all of those things, you can ask me for some paint. I'm using blue, so I'm going to put a nice big amount of blue on there. And if you watched the last video, video you might remember me talking about we need a lot of white because white, to make that light blue color, we need a lot of white. And then we're just going to use a little tiny dab of blue. Now if you remember in the video, he mixed them right next to each other. So when he wanted a light blue, he mixed like this. Ooh, I got a little black in there. Let me get that out. There's a little paint chip. But I'm going to go ahead and start right with my blue, my regular blue. And I'm going to start paint. I'm going to make my face that color. Notice how I'm pulling the brush. I'm not pushing those, those uh, bristles into my painting. I just get more paint when I need it and I'm pulling it along. I'm kind of following the shape of my face a little bit because it's nice and circular there. And if I go lightly over my eyebrows, they won't get covered up. If I, if I paint it too darkly, you won't be able to see it, but I feel I can move that paint around on that. But now I'm ready. You would paint your whole face. I don't want you to wait the whole time. So I'm going to go ahead and mix some colors. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a little bit of blue and a little bit of white. And I'm going to start blending them together. See how I pull and I swirl. The more white I use, the lighter the color will get. It's, it's tinting, I'm sorry. We are tinting that color, making it a, a light blue. It's a tint. And so I have some nice light blue here now, and I'm going to use that for, I think I'll do my hair nice light blue. See how it's a little bit different color? Looks really good. Now, see that's starting to cover up that black, so I want to make sure I don't cover up my black crayon because you want to see my headband in the picture. I'm going to be very careful to stay inside the lines. And now I showed you how to do a tint of blue using my white paint. I want to show you how to do a shade of blue using my black paint. So this time I'm just going to, I'm going to take that black and I'm just going to take a little dot of it and then I'm going to pull some blue over because you can see that it gets dark very, very quickly. See how dark that got? I need lots of blue and just a little dot of black. Just a little dot of black. And I think I'm going to do maybe one of these designs in the background. See how dark that got? And all I did was a little dip of that black. And it got so dark. So you want to be very careful when you are using your black just to use a little dot of it. Otherwise, your whole picture will end up being black. We don't want that. We want it to be a nice shade of blue. Gotta be careful not to get my star there because I want that star to show. And I'm still pulling with my paintbrush either direction. All right, friends, I think you're ready to get started. For cleanup today, I want you to just leave your plate where it is. There will be a tub up at the washing station to put your paintbrushes in and everything else you can just leave on your table. I will collect it to put it in the drying racks. All right, good job guys, get started.